Hey guys, welcome to That Pedal Show. Dan here. Mick here, hello. Um, today, I'm going to take you through the uh, second Ed O'Brien pedal board build. Second pedal board. So, second pedal board build. So you've been to see Ed O'Brien from Radiohead. Why? Because he's a legend. Uh, so a lot of you guys... That was Ed O'Brien from Radiohead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a lot of you guys will have seen the first pedal board build I did for him. Um, Ed contacted me last year and said that he's, you know, wants to get his stuff together and he was um, working on a project. And so he came over and we hung out and talked about what he wanted. And the first board that we did was primarily for studio use, just a thing to get him inspired and create new sounds. And he loved it. And he's been using it at the studio and getting all these wonderful sounds and been working really well. He contacted me again and said that he wants a board that's uh, more compact and appropriate for using live. The first board that we did was big, you know, it's pedal train grande filled to the max, you know, and so he wanted something. He, he wanted something he could get in his Fiesta. Exactly, because <laughs> yeah, that's uh, pretty. Actually, no, it's not nowhere no, near what he's driving. But he just wanted Fiesta something. Five hundred. That's the one. That's the one. Um, Punto. He wanted something that he could fit in his car. Not that he couldn't get that in his car, but it's just a bit more appropriate. Um, so we looked at his core tones, as in, you know, what are the things he absolutely needs. Um, we went with the, the uh, Pigtronics um, Infinity Looper. And because he's using loopers and delays and that sort of stuff, and he's on those all the time, we worked out that it's going to be better to have those in the front and actually have his G2 on the bridge. So right. raised up instead of having like normal, you have the G2 at the front. So you know we just change the layout a bit. But uh, anyway, I'll let you check the build out, and then um, the it was shot on like an iPhone. You know, not not it, but you know, <laughs> like an iPhone. It was or shot an iPhone? on no, it was shot on a, a video camera, not like the the lovely cameras that we're using here. So the quality isn't as good, but you'll get the idea. Yeah, it's a bit of a different one, this one. We've got G2 on a razor here. Um, basically, the pedals down the front, including this wonderful Korg SDD3000, amazing delay pedal. Uh, all the pedals down the front, we've got the Tap Tempo, the Looper, the Infinity Looper, which um, anyone that knows Ed's playing, he uses looping a lot. Um, so yes, Infinity Looper, Diamond Trem, of course the Memory Man because it's such a wonderful pedal. And it's basically everything that Ed needs to get at really quickly is right down the front. Um, the presets on G2 are on this raised tier and very easy to step over and get to these presets here. Um, but yeah, all the other stuff is right at his feet. This is going to be Sweet. Okay, we're just laying out all the power stuff now. So I've done a power path diagram, which you can see here. And basically, um, the generator here is powering everything on this board um, via the distributor and the isolators under here. Okay, so I'm going to start wiring in all the 9 volt pedals. We've got adapters for the STD2000. So under there, you see I've got Time Lord for the STD2000. Doubler for the uh, Infinity Looper, um, that will be via an isolator. Time Lord here for the one we 5 that will be via an isolator as well. And then for the Memory Man, Electro Man under there. So we'll get all the power wired in, we'll give it a test, and then we'll start plumbing in all of the audio cable. Okay, so we're going to power the Pigtronics Infinity Looper, which is an awesome thing by the way. Now, you see here, it takes 18 volts negative tip. It's a 2.1 millimeter connection, so we have the doubler, um, which will give you enough current and 9 to 18 volt adapter. So, I have the doubler plugged in to the infinity. I attach that back to the distributor. So every distributor box comes with the cable. We simply unravel the cable, 
it's about a meter and a half long, so there's loads of cable. Uh, you can get to, you know, even the, the biggest boards, you're going to be able to run the wires back. Okay, so all I'm going to do now, plug in the cable into the doubler. I will put some um, pedal board tape on the back of that and secure it down once I'm done. Okay, so then run those wires back. I do have a sneaky trick with these wires. This is a case from uh, GR Cases, made by Mel Chapman. And the way the foam sits at the back, you see I've got all these uh, wires. From here, I'm actually going to push the cable into the foam at the back. So even though you can't see it, all along the back I must have a dozen cables all running back to these two distributors. And here. What we're going to do then is measure the cable to the back of the inserts. Just snap the cable. Just separate the wires a little bit. Not much, a couple of centimeters maybe. Then those tabs, the wires get pushed straight in those tabs. And then just push the tabs down with whatever you use to cut it. Just push on the top of the tab, you'll hear it click. And that's it, that is now in circuit. Okay, so we have power to everything now. We're just gonna test it. So plug it in. You can see I have power. The Nami Man, I think that needs to be plugged in for that to work. Whammy has power. Looper has power. The SDD3000 has power. G2 has power. Beautiful. Yes, we've got power. Look at that everywhere we go. Awesome. Okay, Humdinger, nice. Excellent. Let's just check this tuner. Boom! Check that out. Awesome. Okay, so we got power. Next step is plugging all the audio in, making sure that uh, everything's lovely. Oh, let's check. Diamond Tremolo. What an amazing pedal. There it is. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, well, everything's got power. We are rocking. Okay, so we've nearly got the board all wired up. Uh, we're using the Evidence Audio SIS system. Um, these cables are fantastic, really simple, exactly the same cables as we did in the last uh, Ed board. So basically we just measure the distance we need for the cable. So this will be knotted around here, behind here. Let's make sure that you've got enough. Okay, just cut it to the length you need. Then you just strip the ends with the supplied wire stripper. Okay, so the copper shield, we twist and wrap it around the edge like that. I like to pull off the, um, the black insulation here. That black is made from carbon and carbon is conductive so it's really not much of an issue with these cables, the solid core cables. So that's what it looks like when it's done. Right, so this is the plug. You simply screw the plug, you have two parts. Um, first we're going to take the this part and this is going to thread. If you look, I don't know if you can see this, but inside you see there's like a threaded section which threads directly on to the solid core. The reason that I love these patch cables is, unlike other sort of solderless cables, when you screw this on, that's, that is on now, that is absolutely rock solid. I know that because that's rock solid, I know that's threaded right through to the tip. 
and I know how good that connection is. Other solderless types of cables that put a pin through like a threaded braid of, of cable, you never really know how good the connection is. Okay, then we just uh, bend it over, we put the cap on the end, and that's that's perfect. It's a good size. It's a really, really nice it's size, really, first of all. It's, it's, uh, You've done a great job. It's like really, it's really manageable. Not yeah. man, not that the other one wasn't, but it's just like I can basically just a, put it in the boot. Exactly. <laughs> just plug in one amplifier, yeah. right, and you're good to go. So here, this is your, um, <clears throat> the EFA6 channel yeah. in your Vox. Less bright. Wow. Right. That's fantastic. Uh, and the, the, it's, it's the way this valve, the EF86, works with effects is it's, it's, it's crazy. Yes. As a, and now, just as a, as a Normal channel, yeah. sort of woofy and low yeah. definition yeah. and everything. Yeah. In there. Yeah. yeah, really present. Yeah. Sounds like a proper good old box, yeah. right? It's, it's really cool. Um, you know, if you're doing a rehearsal or something, just plug in one app and yeah. you're good to go. Okay. Then you, we've got the second output here. Mm. Going out to the the red vox, yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's so right. the earth, your basic first out, out exactly. one. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So that's that on its own. Yeah. And then if we want that one connected, yeah. just yeah. put turn on output two. Okay. Okay. There is a little there's a little phase switch here. Yeah. Um, of, um, which is also isolating the second output. Of okay. course, we've got that phase there because I've got, because I've had to go through this at the end. Yeah. And it's not isolated in the outputs, yeah. so I've had to isolate a second time that yeah. output, but it's that's fine. So anyway, so there's the phase reversing switch there for output two. Yeah. So you can hear sort of out of phase, in phase, yeah. so that bottom end it comes back. Yeah. we have, if I turn those two off, I turn on where it says dry. Yeah. That is it's the center amplifier. So dry out there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So now, the, so, so, so what happens, yeah. you see where I've got the dry yeah. before the memory man, before yeah. the delay there. Yeah. So if I have all three amplifiers on, I turn on the right. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Beautiful. So you got both of the delays. One's getting. I got the yeah. I got the both um, both the delays going Coming to out both amplifiers. Boxes. Yeah, and yep. the drive. And the there. center one is just just before the, the yeah. delays. So we have the you have press. <laughs> I love it. That's my favourite. That's my favourite. Uh, my favourite new flanger. Yeah. Very good. So this is the. Clon. This is the clon, the archer, yeah. which is. The tiniest EQ change yeah. makes a big difference. Right, you don't have okay. to be wild with the yeah. sound. And then that goosed into that. Thing about it. Yeah, that, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, really, that's great. And then, of course, the whammy and. That's so good. Yeah. Such a great tremolo, isn't it? And you can have with the, with the settings on that. You can have a lot of fun on that. Yeah. Those diamond geezers. I mean, we've we've set that up for your vibe pedal. You can use that for anything. Yeah. So it can if be you want it, any it can be pedal. any pedal. Okay, that is very cool. That's very, very cool. So, you know, yeah. anything you want off board. Yeah, that's smart. All there. Very smart. That's brilliant. It's amazing. I, mean, I get it at the beginning of the end, but I think it's, it's great for what I use. Yeah. That's reversing the last one. Yeah. Project. Beautiful. Okay. Love okay. That. That's great. <laughs> Thing, Dan. Thank you. My pleasure, Dan. Amazing. My pleasure. Amazing, amazing. That was bad. Yeah, no. It, the, it really pleased with the way it turned out. Um, I got a lovely uh, email from Ed last week saying how he's been using the board and absolutely loves it and he's really inspired and stuff, which so that's you know, that's really great. That's that's what it's for? Yeah, definitely. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, we'll see you next week. Bye.